Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. I've been playing some viewer decks again on Twitch and it turns out that my viewers have more original deck ideas than I have myself. So, this one is Yakushimitsu's Dragon Overlord Shaman. So the idea is to make use of the various powerful dragon synergies, such as the criminally underplayed Lightning Breath, which is just such a phenomenal card, but it's so hard to build a Shaman deck with dragons, so it's very hard to make actual use of that. And then use the Shaman Prime, Lady Vashi. Lady Vashi is a great card when it works, which means that you want to draw it early, you want to get it killed as soon as possible. And then you want to draw the Prime, the Prime is going to discount some spells for you, most of those spells will be burn, and then you have stuff like Squall Hunter, and then you have discounted burn in hand, and then you just go in and boom. So basically what this deck consists of is dragons, dragon synergy cards, burn spells, and some overload synergy cards. Because there's also a pair of Cumulo Maximuses in this deck for some overload burst as well. A pretty aggressive spell bursty, sometimes even combo-ish deck which can end the games with simply minion pressure and then spells, and then sometimes it rolls high with Lady Vashi and then you can just burn face from hand like insane amounts. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get notifications when new videos come. And now, let's go take a look at Yakushimitsu's Dragon Overload Shaman in action. Maybe I can afford to keep both of the one drops. I'll find something that overloads me eventually. Nothing that overloads me yet. I think I'll go with the Battle Mage first. I could have tried to go with the Tempest. But it wouldn't answer anything that he can play. If he wants to kill this, he has to have some slices. Well, it would have answered exactly that. But that's the least likely card to come, because it's not kept unless it's in outcast position. Well, there were two of those. Okay, I did not see that coming. Let's play the Tempest and trade there. So, Tempest is very likely to at least get to kill on this one. And then I have a Scale Rider coming to kill. What is his probable play for this turn? So, the Battle Fiend. Okay. I'm going to get rid of that one. Get the scale Rider, develop a tree tree. That's a start. The problem here is that Stormforge acts next turn. Is it cold in the shadows? Oh dear. I think this turn has to be a far sight. I don't want to play this yet. There will be better uses for it. You might still not be able to kill the Scale Rider this turn. If I just use this to hit there, then, then this definitely will, will trade. Or at least more likely. Face is the place. Alright. I'm just going to do Serpent Shrine Portal over there. Not bad, not bad face with this. Do I equip the axe now? Yeah, I might equip the axe here. I don't need to swing with it yet. Killing the frothing isn't always simple. You would need like a slice or an eye beam. Or multiple hits. Oh, that's going to take the entire warglaive. Why do you spend the entire warglaive here? Actually, I overloaded with two cards last turn. I forgot the Serpent Shrine also had overload. Well, we're going to play this one. It's also pretty tricky to kill. Big buddy. He just took a lot of damage. Skull of Cooldown is a good one. But is it good enough? Might be preparing for an Altruist turn. Give me a quest. Oh, a free questing adventure. Oh, oh, and a free Sator Overseer. Oh, and a free Chaos Strike. 
Oh, where the twin slice? Oh. Well, I guess that was pretty good then. We retrospect, that was a fairly strong turn. Deal 5 damage. Well, that's pretty good, right? 5, 6, 7, plus 7 isn't lethal. So that means that this one and this one I'm going to kill that one. I'm going to face tank the satyr. And this 5 is going to the face. Alright, we saw all the discounted cards being used. Playing a priestess on this board doesn't really do much, there's so much held on this board. Yeah, I was just saying that playing a priestess on this board just doesn't do anything. We won a game? I think I need Farsight in this matchup, right? I can never kill the priest just straight up immediately. I need to find more resources. I think. This is not a great start either, though. I need to play the Talons on two. I have to play the Vash as well, right? It cannot be Shadow Madness. So maybe it can do something. I might just need it out there immediately. So that I can get the Vashi Prime. And maybe I can get some Juicy Burst. He might penance that. The Vashi Prime goes into the deck. And that could help. Pressure or... yeah, we're going for the pressure route here instead of the Farsight now with this hand that I have here. Just get the 5-5 five, five out there, see if the priest has an answer. Most of the time they do, but not always. Oh, well, now he did get my Talnos and the draw from that. So I guess that was good for the priest then. I'm gonna play another big old whelp here. Just smack the priest in the face. These don't die to the small AoE pieces. Now there's two of them, and Soul Mirror is only next turn. Could discover Shadow World Ruin from the Renew. That would be really sweet. That's not running the main deck anymore. I just want my damage to go face. I'm going to use this over there. Do you sense to element that will overload me? I'll have six mana again next turn. That's acceptable. We'll do that. Push face damage. I have the Squall Hunter, the Lightning Bolt, so that's 5, that's 5. So that's 10 damage for 5, 8 mana. Here comes the Soul Mirror. Oh, that was a bonus Soul Mirror. That's annoying. I was hoping that he would have found bonus Soul Mirrors, but well, what can you do? So 10 damage for 8 mana. There are some potential lethal setups here, but they're not very reliable. And we're checking the Brightwing card here. And the Scale Rider face a little bit. Turns out that there wasn't time to play the Farsight. Maybe that was not a good keep after all. Okay, well, now he gets to see... He could take the Serpent Shrine Portal. That would be nice. Now he knows I have some burn. And I want to use that burn to go to the face. Okay. 
So Adventure and Portal would be the logical choice, okay. This is fine, right? So that's the 10 burst. So we're not quite there yet. Now might be the time to play the far side. Can I get more burn spells? These are not burn spells. If I use them both... I do get the rather impressive board, I guess. Next turn will not be a burn turn in it anyway. We're going to go with this. Push that five to the face. Still trying to find a little bit more damage spells from the deck for the Squall Hunter, so that I could just kill the priest. That's a relatively impressive board. Maybe he doesn't have a tool to answer that. He has quite a selection, though. I guess that's a good sign, although it could also imply that he's playing Galagrond here. Well, it's just a Holy Nova. Oh, it's Death and Holy Nova. That allows the Holy Nova now. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh boy. I mean, this is played this turn, isn't it? Next turn... Next turn I'm going for the kill with the Squall Hunter. Now I want to deal 5 damage to a minion. Now that doesn't really do anything. Next turn, Squall Hunter and just unload. That's going to be 5, 10, 17, 21 damage. Can he get to more than 21 health? Maybe he can. Twenty-one is the best I can do here. Can he get above that? He's already almost there. That's a little slow though. Five, ten, seventeen, plus five, seventeen plus five. Was it twenty-two? Well, be that as it may. Like that. That's what I said already before the expansion was released. Get good at drawing Lady Vashi and the Vashi Prime, and you will win games with a deck like this. These, I suppose. Let's see what happens next. Okay, let's, start with, let's start with Tempest. It doesn't die to a backstab. Well, it does if, with the dagger, but... Needs a little bit more work. Okay. Well done, I just killed that. Fine. Now, you don't have a shadow, shadow jeweler anymore. Then what? I guess he has a seal fate for my 3-3. Tree, tree. I was hoping for a 3-4, of course, but... You don't typically roll that high. 3-3 tree, tree is a good average outcome. Oh, 
Let's see if I can roll a healing totem. How could I can roll a taunt totem? I'll take that. Smack him in the face with this now. Ah, that brace skill I'm going to sweet. And there's three lackeys, so he can probably handle this. Maybe he cannot. There's still two more lackeys left. Something's going to come. Well, that was a low roll. But I can't deal with all of this stuff anyway. I could try to farsight into something. Let's check that out. Remarkable. We'll do that. We have one of these in the deck. One of those in the entire deck. I think I'll trade that away as well now, so that he can't evolve it again, or turn it into like a faceless corruptor. That's Hearthstone. Good Hearthstone. I believe in the heart of the deck. Yeah, I, I'm believing all the time here. I'm just doing the most believing. That's an interesting card. But maybe I need to save it for a little later. Just play the Talnus this turn. I can double trade. Keep playing around various things that he can do with minions on the board. Now my minions are at full health though, so they can be backstabbed or seal fated again. I could have kept this at 2 health if I want. Why are you playing for value? I'm playing for tempo, you're playing for value. Something doesn't match. Six damage, I need another ten. I have eight. Well, next turn. Such I will be overloaded. It won't matter. Can he play Galagrand and heal? Will that matter? 14 damage. Such choices. This will be fine. It's not quite lethal, but it's okay. Because Galagrond is the only card here that saves him. And it has only been invoked once. So don't draw one card. Dark in the sky. That's the Galagrond, and it only draws one card. And that card has to be Kronks. If this is Kronks... Then what? Then he would have lived. For a turn. I think I can. He doesn't get the battle cry if it's summoned and not played. Well, this obviously isn't my deck. This is Yakushimitsu's deck. I'm playing a... Because we have this thing with channel points on this channel that you can request me to play decks with those points. So, we're playing a request deck here. Do you feel like Vecina would be a nice add? I don't think so. This doesn't have a lot of minions. I guess we're going with the axe. I probably have to start chipping down this one once. So that I can get a better lightning breath in two turns, for example. 
Playing decks means that I can't play the Serpent Shrine Portal. Which is a little annoying, but... Maybe okay. Demons. Demons. I can't just try to hit face. No, the lady is here. Taste my stick. I think I need to kill these minions here. I would want the lady in the deck as soon as possible. But will, will I ha really have time? I'm taking a lot of damage from this demon hunter. Now two cards that he kept in hand too. This looks awkward. I have to tank that one too so that I can develop the lady. I think so, yeah. Going down to 22 is not great. Spending all of my weapon charges is not great. There were alternative lines. But I felt like I needed to hold on to the Lightning Breath a little. Now he can't like play the Raging Fell Screamer here. Oh, I guess he can. But how do you deal with the Vashi? We'll see. Grow impatient. All I see is weakness. Going all in with the slices. Oh, I see. And the question is, do I have to spend a lightning breath? Because I really don't want to. But damage is scary. But what I really want to do is play a big old whelp. And draw more cards. Next turn I have the opportunity to play like Lightning Breath and a Scale Rider. He could play Warglaves. And tank that one twice. That's the risk I'm taking. Okay. What was the risk I'm taking? You want to tank it twice. Right? Well, this is a board that I can still clean up. So that's no big deal. I need to devote Battle Mage into Hero Power, I think. Get some board presence here. Lightning breath those away. I don't have an answer to a priestess in a couple of turns. If there's a priestess, I might also just die. I might also just die. It's kind of hard to defend against Demon Hunter with this. But I don't think I have what it takes to raise. Hmm. Like, even if it's just a claybone adept, how do I even kill that? So that's an eye beam, yeah? And then. Well, if he finds another satyr, that's going to be really. Whoa! Didn't see a blade dance coming. So he's trying to go for some kind of a lethal setup. Uh huh. I need some of those one cost spells. They won't do enough. I, I can't deal 23 damage. I'm just not even close. 
Was it better to play the big old whelp? Not make the one mana spells, but instead... They will never catch me. Maybe. Because he has so many cards in hand, he probably can kill me in two turns at the lane. Yeah, no, yeah that's a two turn lethal. That's a two turn lethal and there's nothing I can do, I can't deal 23 damage. Well, technically it doesn't go through taunts. Nowhere near enough. I have to give me a taunt minion. Doesn't. There's no taunt minions in the deck. I have no further random effects. So I'm dead. Yeah, because even one damage kills me through taunt, so he can if I roll taunt totem he kills it with this and then he pushes on. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.